Welcome to the raw edges of life. My name is Urba. I'm out here at a place called on the east side of the big island of Hawaii. I'm so grateful to live here. Came out here to hang out, eat some raw meat, do some qigong and meditation. You also see some footage of me Last night at Gaia Yoga Gardens community that I used to live at for four years and some people over there that are eating raw meat as well. Well here we are at Gaia Yoga Gardens, my alma mater. <laughs> I've been eating raw meat for, gosh, this year it'll be 12 years. One of the best things I ever did. This is some ground beef, grass fed local ground beef, and I'm just going to eat it with my hands. I haven't always been quite this simple about it. I'll make on recipes occasionally but not as much anymore more and more I just the, the one food all by itself security hmm just nourishment I really wouldn't be the same without this The simplest but most immediately transformative radical thing that I feel like I can share is raw diet, including raw meat and other raw animal foods like dairy, raw milk, raw cheese, raw cream, raw eggs. I'm not the only one in the world doing this, believe it or not. Well, here we have Omya, and this is why I broke out this video camera. Omiya's here eating raw meat like this. I feel happy and inspired seeing this. I eat this way as well, and maybe a few other people here do too. And talk to me, Omiya, how long have you been eating this way? Uh, I've been eating mostly raw for all of this, but I added in oh, raw meat a year ago. Mm -hmm. it's just like one of the best meat. When you came here? Yeah. 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 Like, this is grass-fed steak <laughs> with fat. This is the Ano methodology. You've just taken exactly Ano's methodology of so Equal parts meat and fat. <laughs> Omia climbed four trees today from the ground up. I did. I, I heard it. Four. So that's very impressive. And, and then also harvested holes. another tree. You know how yeah, wow. Like, solid. And then there's Ano who's been doing this for several decades. That was actually one of the reasons I moved there in 2012, was to be with other people. But this is something that I don't think enough people are sharing. So, I just want to give this gift to the world that I've been lucky enough to find as well. This is one of the raw edges of life, literally, that. I want to encourage everybody to live on, grasp it, 
we need all the help we can get to open ourselves up to the bliss of every day, every moment, and raw meat, and raw food in general can really help with that. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. I'll talk about my name a little bit because people always ask me this name Burba, where did this come from? It's from inspiration from my destiny it, it called to me I was actually living at Gaia Yoga Gardens when it came to me I was walking down a jungle trail to the hut I was living at at the time time when I was really coming into my, my own sense of purpose for my life, my calling. I was doing a lot of teaching of nonviolent communication, healing work, like co-counseling, leadership in the community, and I'll be talking about all these topics later on as well and creating courses on them. And walking down this trail, this these sounds, Urba, just came to me and I had an immediate knowing, oh, this is my name. This, this really captures my destiny, my worldly destiny at least, because we also, I believe we all have a, a destiny of spiritual awakening, returning to the source. But both these destinies operate in us simultaneously. And it's part of my destiny to share raw meat and raw diet and many other things. I also appreciate its, its sounds, its open vowels. It has these Germanic, Nordic kind of sounds which reflects my ancestry, which also is very meaningful to me. My name, Urba, means the potential for healing and bliss in every moment. <laughs> Spiritual relationship enlightenment process. Yeah, so what would you say to your raw vegan past self about what your ideas were about meat back then? Yeah. You know, I don't know. I feel really at peace with that time. Like, like what I needed at that time. Uh huh. Because my diet as a child, I really need to just go hard and cleanse that. Mm hmm. I think. And it, just, it got me really clear. So I just think, I think I opened up on perfect, perfect timing. I guess I'd tell her, like, like you're on the right track, but keep going. Ah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would you say to people that don't want to eat meat because of moral issues, for instance? Um, yeah, I, I, I still had a little bit of that, like, before deciding I was open to animal products mm -hmm. and I I what I came to is like I'm an animal too and if my instincts and my body is telling me this is extremely nourishing to me it it'd be like going against my I'd be like abusing my own animal self to not like honor that. Uh. So, Smells, yeah. Smells great. <laughs> Did it smell great, or, or, like right away? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it smelled like your songs to me. <laughs> wow. Interesting. I was really surprised because after so long not eating meat, it didn't really look like food to me anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, but like the raw meat looked really enticing. So I was just open to it. I thought it might smell revolting to me because it's just like. My body yeah, was so far removed from that. that. Nine years since I've eaten any flesh. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I smelled it. It smelled like it was just buttery, like croissants. And this wasn't in an instinctive buffet, or was it? No, it wasn't yeah. an instinctive buffet. Yeah. Anna was just eating some, and I just was curious. Yeah. I smell it. Totally. Yeah. Right on. And then did you you had some right then? And 
like, yeah, I had a little pee. Uh-huh. And I was like, okay. And like, and every night I kind of like would shyly come over to Anna and be like, I have a pee, so like I have more. And then like, I just, I started eating it. Yeah. And then like a week I was eating multiple times a week. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>